Welcome back to my Transformers Prime episode reviews. Today, we're taking a look at the episode Inside Job. In this episode, the Autobots and Decepticons still struggle to take possession of the Omega Keys. We begin with Smokescreen waking up on Knockout's operating table after being kidnapped by Soundwave in the last episode. Hmm, maybe I should say he was botnapped instead? Ah well, he is kind of a kid too, so it works either way. Wakey wakey. What, no eggs and bakey? Wakey wakey. Eggs and bakey. Also, I'm guessing this was probably Breakdown's view when he woke up in the morning. But, of course, not as menacing. So, Knockout steals Smokescreen's signature weapon. Finders Keepers. What, no Losers Weepers either? Come on, Knockout. You gotta finish these expressions if you're going to use them. So, after Knockout X-Ray Smokescreen, it appears that the final Omega Key is inside him. Um, exactly how did Alpha Trion get the key inside of Smokescreen? So Smokescreen assumed everything went black because he was hit by Decepticons. But Alpha Trion's the one who actually turned out the kid's lights. I trust that Alpha Trion had his reasons. Oh my. Back on board the Nemesis, Knockout removes the key from Smokescreen's body. He almost gives him a C-section, but then he uses the phase shifter to do it a little more... family friendly. Ah, get your stinking hand out of my gears! Still, this begs the question. If Alpha Trion had already launched the pod containing the phase shifter, how did he get the Omega key inside Smokescreen in the first place? The hard way? Oh my. Meanwhile, Starscream is fantasizing about what he'll do once he gets his little grubby claws on all four Omega Keys. And seize the throne as Starscream the First, Supreme Overlord and Emperor of Destruction! <laughs> Starscream the First? Does that mean that Starscream would intend to have children? Aww, little baby Starscreams! So cute! Megatron uses the cortical psychic patch to obtain the secret to the Omega Keys. After which, Smokescreen manages to take back the phase shifter, leaving Knockout stuck in the wall like that duo bot in the IDW comics. Smoke steals the keys and jumps ship. A pity you are incapable of flight. Yeah, <laughs> like I'm gonna let that stop me. Retrieve the Omega Keys! Quickly! Flyers! I need flyers! Okay, that's pretty funny, but I still feel sorry for that poor car Viacon. Aw, poor guy. Ratchet tries to catch Smokescreen with a ground bridge, but Megatron knocks him off course, and Smoke ends up phasing through the ground. Um, say hi to Unicron, I guess? And while the Decepticons search the crash site, Smokescreen sneaks away. Did I tell you? Destiny! Alpha Trion knew I'd keep it safe. Oh, Smokescreen. You young little himbo, you. You know what? Maybe it's best that he doesn't put two and two together. The team then gets a text from Starscream, asking to trade the other key for the installation of his T-Cog. But this all proves to be a trick, because as the Autobots are distracted by the body of his dead clone, Starscream uses his super speed to infiltrate the Autobots' base and steal the other Omega keys. Autobots. It's pretty hilarious to think of Peter Cullen recording this in the booth, because I'm pretty sure this isn't just him talking normally and then slowed down in post. I'm fairly certain that this is just Peter Cullen talking as if he were in slow motion. Here, I'll speed it up for you, and you can tell me if it sounds right. I'm sorry, what was that? 
Autobots in the Bolivians. <laughs> you Autobots think you're so superior. Actually, it's Soundwave who thinks he's superior. Soundwave superior. Autobots inferior. Optimus turning around in slow-mo reminds me of when Superman did that to the Flash in Justice League. Hmm, I wonder if they stole that from this episode. So, Starscream runs for his life like a scared little girl, and he manages to slip through the ground bridge just in time. Would that I could have that sound to lull me to sleep each night. I beg you, my liege. Release me from this absurd predicament. No. You shall serve as a constant reminder to those who dare fail me. But what about when he eventually needs to go to the little bot's room? And this episode ends with Starscream making his bid to rejoin the Decepticon ranks. Well, this was a great episode of Transformers Prime. I simply have to point out the great slow motion effects during Starscream's infiltration of the Autobot base. The lights pulsing may look annoying, but it's actually realistic to how lights look in slow motion. The explosion effect is also pretty cool, although the water does leave quite a bit to be desired. For one, they all seem to be just blue streaks. No, not that type of blue streak. They should be individual water droplets. And when Starscream walks through them, he simply walks through them. There's no interaction between the water and the characters. It would have been cool to see Starscream push the water droplets as he walks, or to see them hit and splash off of the Autobots. But sadly, I'm guessing Polygon Pictures didn't have that kind of complex fluid simulation engine at their disposal because that would have made this scene look so amazing if they did. The story of this episode is pretty good too. Smokescreen jumping off the Nemesis definitely reminded me of Hot Rod in his Spotlight comic book issue. Remind me again, why is Smokescreen not Hot Rod? But it was engaging how Smokescreen managed to steal the Omega Keys from the Decepticons, only for Starscream to turn around and steal them from the Autobots and deliver them all to Megatron. It'll definitely be interesting to see how this plays out between Starscream and Megatron. What about you? What did you think of this episode of Transformers Prime? Let me know down in the comments. Remember to like, subscribe, and do all that other fun stuff. And I'll see you back here next time for the next episode of Transformers Prime Patch. So be sure to come back next week for that.